Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of our VGC 2019 Battle Series. We are back here again today kicking off with this Dialga Kyoga team. If you've missed any of the episodes from this week already, go back over here. I'll put a card in for you lovely people. You can check out the games so far this week. But we're going to jump right into it today. As always, the team is in the description below as well as a poker paste for you guys to try out. And if you do, make sure to leave a comment and let me know what you think of it. I love hearing from you guys and uh, hearing your thoughts on the build and in general and any suggestions going forward. But like I say, let's just get into it today. Let's crack some music on. And uh, as always, if you enjoy this content, make sure you do drop a like on the video. It really helps out the channel. It helps out the video. Subscribe so you don't miss any of these battle daily battle series, all of our guide content, all of our Flinch Squad circuit content, and everything else that we have on the channel. Um, but yeah, it's been pretty nice playing Dialga so far. We'll pick some music. Uh, or we've got Kanto Pokemon. And our first opponent is playing a team of... Is that what I think I see? Oh, it is. It's Sogleo Guzlord. Wow. Tapu Koko, Incineroar, Cortana, and Giratina. Wow. Amazing. I love this team already. Okay, so we've got the restricted combination of Sogaleo and Giratina. Um, it's a very interesting combination that you don't see very often. You're going to have probably Tailwind or Trick Room on the team. I would say more Trick Room and, well, probably a combination of both there. You've got the the Trick Room and uh, on the Sogaleo, you've got the Tailwind options there on the Cortana and the Giratina, um, I believe. Um, and then you've got Fake Out Support from the Incineroar as always. Guzlord's going to be a Trick Room one for sure. Um, and we maybe want to bring a Moongus to help deal with that thing, because otherwise it's going to be a bit difficult for us to deal with. Um, oof, I sp yeah, I think we don't have too much in the team that can really hit it for very good damage. Um, okay, so let's think about this. I think Bronzong's not very not bad in this match. Incineroar is decent for the Intimidate support. It does give us a good matchup against the Cortana and Giratina. I think Dialga, I think Kyogre we need here. Who's our last one going to be though? That's the big question. Do we want Zerkatry boosting up under the electric terrain? Could be quite nice and give us an out. I think I want to go for the Zerkatry here to be honest. There's no ground on my opponent's team so we're not worrying about that. So let's get into it. Good luck to my opponent and props to them for bringing all the style points with the uh, the Guzzlord, Sogalea and Giratina in today's match. Exciting one for us to kick off with today. We got the white screen and there we go. So let's see what they lead off with. We're going to lead off with Incineroar and Dialga. We'll see my opponent lead off with their Giratina and Sogaleo. So we have to be careful straight away with the Sogaleo going for a superpower into either slot on our side of the field. Um, this is why maybe the Amoongus would have been a really good pick here for us. Um, we don't have it, so it's fine. Uh, but we do have Fake Out here we can go for this first turn to, to get us set up against this Sogaleo. Especially, so we'll fake out the Sogaleo and threat of that and just go for a trick room. Uh, I wonder what this Giratina is going to do though. That's the, the big thing. It's going to feel a little bit threatened in front of an Incineroar, although the checks there with the Sogaleo, I guess Shadow Force going to go up and vanish into the sky. Okay. I mean, I don't mind that too much as you get the trick room set up. Now we can go knock off Earth Power into the Sogaleo. That combination should be enough to pick up the knockout onto that Pokemon. Um, so we will go knock off and then the earth power incineral will under speed dial guess so that's pretty nice We're making sure that we get the knock off first remove any barrier or anything like that and uh oof, not doing enough it's going to be the z move there i think yeah it's going to be the phytinium if this is not enough we do not get it oh no shadow force coming out into Dialga, i would imagine and then the phytinium z and what i believe will come into oh it's going to be a trick room though that's quite interesting okay so I think the thing to preserve here would be uh, Dialga. Um, I'm going to go for another knockoff into Sogaleo. Um, and I'm going to go Trick Room again. Because we either get the Trick Room off or we knock the Sogaleo out. It can only target one thing at a time. Sogaleo going for the Superpower now. It's going to be into Incineroar. Oh no, into Dialga. Deny that Trick Room. Yeah. And do we see another Shadow Force? No Draco Meteor. Wow. It's a mixed Giratina. I'm dropping its special attack by a stage, though. We do get the knockoff into the Sogaleo, remove that from the field. So that's one restricted down. 
Um, Cortana likely to come in now, I think, for my opponent. Uh, we'll bring in Zerkatry. I don't want to bring in Kyogre just yet in case it is. Okay, so we're going to see the Incineroar come in. And we can't really knock off the Giratina too well in this situation because um, of the Gyrius Orb that it is holding to have that, that form that it is. Uh, I'm going to bring in Kyogre for Incineroar. Um, and just protect Zerkatry. We don't want to take too much damage with it and we want to try and get our tail glow up if we can and with Incineroar on the back at least we've got that intimidate option as well going into next turn if we need it problem is if Giratina goes Shadow Force here it could be a little bit of an issue there's a fake out into Zerkatry and we're going to see Shadow Force okay yeah Okay, but this is fine because we get the water spout. Which we should outspeed the Incineroar and we'll bring Incineroar back in for the Zerkatry, which should take the Shadow Force. I can't imagine you Shadow Force the Incineroar slot um, with your Giratina. So we'll be able to sap this up with Incineroar. We'll get an Intimidate all importantly onto that opposing Incineroar. So it's not going to matter too much, I guess. Shadow Force coming out into Giratina. Uh, Incineroar, yeah, we take that pretty comfortably, and now a water spout, yeah, should maybe take both things down. Nah, not the Giratina, no, of course not the Giratina. So bulky, look at that, tanks those water spouts, that's ridiculous, that's crazy, isn't it? Hmm. We do have fake out this next turn, that Giratina's minus two as well. Cartana's going to be a bit more awkward to deal with in this last slot. Oh, and our opponent forfeits. Well, I say forfeits, they disconnect, which is really unfortunate. Um, unlikely that they had the Cortana there. They did. Even if they have the Cortana there, um, I think we can still win that match because the next turn we've... We, like Kyogre, this Kyogre can take a Leaf Blade from a Max Jolly Cortana. So, um, I'd feel comfortable sitting in front of it and throwing out uh, Hydro Vortex into that slot and doubling into it with Incineroar as well uh, just to make sure that we cover any Sash there um, and then Zerkatry coming in against the Giratina that's like so weakened because of the Intimidate abuse and the Draco Meteor drop that it's already taken I think would be alright to kind of close that one up but unfortunate but that's our first one today I wish there wasn't a facility to disconnect but there is and something we have to deal with I guess so it's fine uh, but we'll move on and hopefully it doesn't take too long to find an opponent. And just like magic, we've got Paulie Love. What a great name. So, Paulie Love playing a team of... Kyogre, Weavile, Mandibuzz, Ferrothorn, Incineroar, and Palkia. So we've got the Palkia-Kyogre restricted combination going into this one. We've got Fake Out support from the Weavile and the Incineroar. Three dark types on this team. Um, and the, the Mandibuzz there, you know, it's not got any sort of terrain support with it, so... Uh, that's something that can be a bonus for us uh, and the Ferrothorn, which we definitely 100% need the Incineroar for uh, and maybe late game is going to be the best place to bring that. Uh, I think what we'll do is go Dialga here can take a combination of hits from lots of things. We need to be a bit careful about the Weavile though again with the fake out support and the uh, low kick there. I'm going to bring Amoongus to this one. I don't know if I want to bring Kyogre to this game. Um... I want to bring Zerkatry for sure and Incineroar. So I think I'm going to go Kyogre less in this game. Because my opponent definitely brings the rain. Yeah, so let's see. Let's see. What Poorly Love can bring to the field. He's got a nice combination of Pokemon though. It's an interesting build. Be really interesting to see how he kind of approaches this match. And Kyogre Palkia is not something to underestimate at all. It's very, very threatening. Uh, there's a Z move there somewhere. I would imagine it's probably on the Palkia. We're going to see Kyogre and the Weavile come up for my opponent. Um, I wonder if we can just Trick Room and Grass Knot here. But if we Trick Room too early, the Ferrothorn could hit the field. Um, 
We really don't want that. I mean, we could Thunder and Grass Knot as well. Um, Among Us isn't in the best of places at all. Uh, okay, let's think about this. Is this Scarfed Kyogre as well? I mean, we could just double protect here. There's always Faint as well, which is a thing. Um, I'm probably better off trying to put something to sleep. If I go Trick Room and I go Spore into Weavile. Because the Water Spout's not going to be doing too much to either target. We're going to see an Ice Beam though from the Kyogre. Going to lock him with that. Reveal that it is Scarfed as well. Going to see an Ice Punch doubling up into that slot, which does give us the. <sighs> yeah, it gives us a free switch into our Kyogre now. As we set the Trick Room up, and both these targets are under a lot of pressure. Um, okay. We haven't brought a Kyogre. That's the big thing. <laughs> Um, okay, we'll bring in... I mean, we could bring in Incineroar, but Zerkatry is quite a nice option to bring in now. Get that Tail Glow up. Um, and because the, the Kyogre is locked into Ice Beam, because we it's outspeeding that that Weavile, we know for a fact it's locked into that. Um, we could bring in Incineroar for Dialga and get a Tail Glow up, which is probably our best option right now, I think. Kyogre probably switches out. I love that we're like, yeah, we're bringing Kyogre now. We'll bring in Kyogre. We've got a really good opportunity to get Kyogre in, throw out some water spouts, even if the Ferrothorn comes in. Yeah, uh, yeah, no Kyogre in the back. No Kyogre in the back. We've all switching out now. I'm gonna see Mandibuzz hit the field. Interesting. Interesting. Kyogre switching out as well. Is Ferrothorn gonna hit the field? Ferrothorn. Yep. Okay. And we get this tail glow off. Right, I mean, this is perfect for us, the double switch. We take no damage, and we're in such a, a commanding position going into this next turn because we can just fake out the opposing Ferrothorn, and we can just start chucking out Thunderbolts. It's unlikely the Mandibuzz has Protect. And the Ferrothorn's going to feel, even with the even with the Rain Up, it's still going to take a lot of damage from this Incineroar. Um... But we have to fake it out this turn because we don't want to take any leech seed damage or anything like that. We'll take a little bit of iron bombs damage, but it's worth it just to stop it attacking this turn, damaging our, our poor little circuitry. This will be more than enough to get the man to buzz. We'll probably see the Weavile come in this next turn, I imagine. Uh, we do get another beast boost, putting us onto plus four. So circuitry going crazy now, revealing the leftovers on the Ferrothorn. I think the big thing here for us is just making sure that we can get rid of enough of my opponent's side of the field before that Kyogre comes back out. Um, and what have we got in the back? We've got Dialga. I'm going to bring Dialga in. And I'm just going to protect Zerkatry. Because we have to burn this fake out turn here. Um, whether the Weavile's got faint makes sense if it does to a certain extent but I feel like you have to protect uh, you have to kind of fake out the Incineroar a little bit more than you do the Zerkatry because of the Flare Blitz potentially knocking out uh, the Ferrothorn even though the rain's up it probably does survive like so maybe you are more worried about the Zerkatry there's a fake out into the Zerkatry okay and we are going to see Power Whip into that Zerkatry slot doubling into that slot there so that's fine I mean now we can just go uh, back into Incineroar, just so we've got that fake out support. Um, how many turns of Trick Room? We've got one actually. Maybe it's probably better if we stay out with Dialga here um, and just go for an Earth Power, get some damage off into the Ferrothorn. But at the same time, I worry if that Weavile is sashed, so I want to just double that slot. Um, it would be nice to get an Intimidate onto the Ferrothorn. The Ferrothorn switching out. Preparation for this, um, this Trick Room ending. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. We do get the Weavile, it is Sash, so we make the right call there, just doubling into that slot and not taking any risks, not taking any unnecessary damage here. And now Dialga's in a perfect position just to get this Trick Room up. It's next turn in front of this Scarf Kyogre. The Rain does stop as well, which makes it even better for us uh, as the Ferrothorn is going to hit the field. 
Um, and we don't even need the trick room here. We can just earth power. There's no way Zerkatry goes down to a uh, Scarf Water Spout out of the range, so we can just Thunderbolt the Kyogre, take that down, and then Incineroar can come back in. But we don't need the Trick Room. There, yeah, there's a Water Spout. Yeah. There's the Earth Power into the Ferrothorn. We'll get a decent bit of chip onto it there, but it's all just setting up for when Incineroar can hit the field. Thunderbolt! Bye bye Kyogre and Zerkatry putting in a massive amount of work today, like a crazy amount of work. Getting another beast boost, getting into plus five. Kind of want the Ferrothorn. Oh, excellent. I really wanted our um, Zerkatry to stick around to see how much a Thunderbolt plus five does to this Ferrothorn. I don't think it's going to be enough to pick up the knockout, but you never know. It could be. Uh, it could do. Nah, it's not going to be enough to pick up the knockout. Definitely not. But what we'll do is we'll switch in Incineroar now. This pretty much seals up the game. I wonder if our opponent is going to be a, going to allow us to get this attack off. Be nice if if it if he does. Ah, the forfeit. Okay, Zergatry so putting in so much work, but uh, another great uh, way for us to end today. And actually, really nice to see the Zergatry come out and do some work in today's episode, which is fantastic. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, two quick short piles today. It's a short episode today. A really short episode. Um, we could squeeze one more in, but because of time constraints and stuff like that, I'm not going to squeeze one in. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode, guys, and uh, we'll be back for another one tomorrow. So thank you so much for tuning in, and uh, have a great day, morning, afternoon, night, whatever time it is, and I'll see you all very soon. So until the next one, guys, take care, and bye-bye!